Hi everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook process video and thank you for joining me again today. So I am joining in on this YouTube hop where we are all using six by six pattern papers and a sketch from Scrapbook Generation. So this is one of their free sketches. It is not from the six by six class, but it is one of their free ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it for, with the six by six pads anyway. One, a couple things that I'm going to do, you might notice in the sketch, there is a strip that goes across both pages. Um, and then it also calls for a five by seven photo. So I knew that, well, first of all, I didn't have a five by seven photo. So I knew that using the six by six papers as well, I wouldn't have been able to make a mat for a five by seven photo. But also this sketch calls for only four photos and I'm going to change it to add five photos on here. But I really enjoyed this sketch. Um, I thought this was absolutely perfect for six by six papers. You can do, you know, not only six by six papers, but for scraps as well. If you only have a few scraps left, then this will work out just wonderfully. So I have gone through the six by six and I am using, I believe, I wanna say this is Echo Park. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know it's, I think it's called Imagine That and it was their boy collection. So I have had this to the side ready to pull out for a while now and I decided to go ahead. Well, I needed to find a collection that I had a six by six pad to go with anyway and also to match up with one of these sketches. So. I went ahead and just pulled this one and I'm really super happy with the way this layout turns out. So like I said, I went through the six by six pad and I chose all the patterns that I thought would go with this layout really well. These are photos of my, well, I was gonna say my three boys, but I guess it's just my two boys and my husband, but he's kind of like a third boy, right? So. <laughs> Um, anyways, they took, they got some RC cars uh, one year for Christmas, and so they were outside. This was probably later spring, and um, it was a nice day out, so they took on our deck um, and built like a little racetrack, and then they uh, just raced their cars around. The, the biggest problem was the cars kept flying off the deck quite a few times, but <laughs> it was still rather entertaining, and they had a lot of fun. One of the things I love about, and I meant to show up a close, meant to show a close up of this, but one of the things I think is really cool about these photos is my son is still wearing his um, Disney hat. So when we went to Disneyland in, I think it was 2012 that he picked out this hat. It's a goofy hat. So for his Mickey ears, instead of getting Mickey ears, he chose this. Uh, goofy hat that, that has the big you know like long goofy ears and I just love it he wore it all the time so I don't remember the year of these photos that's the only down part um, but I went ahead and I knew because our yard now looks totally different um, we finally had the time and the money to fix up our yard I believe in 2017 which you might have seen a couple photos from that I haven't done too many of that yet that's on another to-do list but um, so I know that these photos were from before then, so I'll just have to look through and figure out the date before then. But this was um, a lot of fun to scrapbook. So the sketch says that this strip, and these are all cut to three, um, well, six inches by three quarters inch. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue. It says to put them about two and a quarter inches above the bottom. So I used a, my mat on the background, just a hair. I didn't measure perfectly. If it's not two and a quarter inches above the bottom of the layout, then I, I don't care. I'm not worried about it. So um, I just glued them down and it is rather noticeable. I mean, not horribly noticeable, but you can notice where the two papers line up. But I'm not worried about that at this point because I know that I'm going to, the way I'm going to add my photos, um, it's gonna cover up those. So I'm not worried about that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the right hand page. And it also said that these boxes or rectangles, I guess they would be, were about two inches up from the bottom. So again, I used my mat to kind of figure out where the two inches was, but I wasn't that worried about it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it did go down these three boxes along the bottom. I just wanted to make sure that they went down to below that striped strip so that it would cover up the part where the two pattern papers met. 
Um, now I'm just going to add my photos. I didn't really pay too much attention to which photo went where, but I did decide to put this car pattern paper because they're racing their RC cars. I wanted it to be um, in the top three rectangles. So there's three pictures and three pattern paper squares. And so it I'm just following the sketch. I don't always follow the sketch exactly like I it says to, but for this one I did fairly closely. Um, and then you can notice there that I accidentally glued the photo down. I wasn't even paying attention. I actually got rather clumsy quite a few times with this layout, I'm going to tell you. So currently my room, I'm working on a project, just a home decor project, no big deal. I will do a video showing you guys what I'm working on. But because I've been working on that, it's taking me, first of all, it's taking me so much longer to do, like two weeks now and I'm not done. And I thought I would be done in a few days. So that's taking forever. And I had to move everything to the side. My whole room is kind of just this terror zone right now. I mean, it's been messy before, but right now it's a terror zone. And then Lisa and Nicole have been doing all these workspace Wednesdays or whatever Nicole calls it, or basically talking about their craft rooms lately. And it got me thinking about a few spots in my room where I feel like I have kind of wasted space. You know what I mean? Like I'm not really using that space. So I've been kind of reorganizing. So my room, long story short, just a terror zone. So um, I'm trying to do that, but I knew this layout had to go up today. So I had to get this layout done so, since I had committed to it. And um, also, I don't want to leave you guys out of everything with the you know, with my video. So I want, but like I said, that home decor project is taking so much longer than I had expected, but um, I've decided to put it aside and work on it a little bit here and there, uh, which is not as convenient. When you see what it is, you'll understand why. But anyways, back to the layout here. So I will apologize also if my layout kind of goes off screen or is a little bit wonky, anything like that. I um, I have, like I mentioned, it's a mess. So all around where I am working right now is just clutter of stuff. <laughs> so I'm lucky that I even got the layout to fit. So I'm showing you here that I'm trying to figure out where I want the clusters to go. Um, I am going to follow the sketch for the most part. However, I did, um, I didn't, put the title in the same spot because, oh, first before I talk about the title, I do want to show the sketch did have some stitching lines. They, they do a lot of stitching with their layouts and I decided to take a very light gray. I didn't want to do black. Um, I didn't want it to stand out so much that it really took your attention away from the pictures and the pattern papers. So I just chose a very light gray photo and, or excuse me, pen, and I did the stitching and I just did the faux stitching. I, I would love to be able to stitch with the machine, but I don't have anywhere to put a machine and I don't have a machine. So that's another time, another story. So I also, one thing that they have on the sketch is they only really have that faux stitching on the right hand side. It goes over onto the left hand side, just a tiny hair, but I decided to take that stitching all the way around even the photos on the left hand page. I just felt like that brought the two pages together. So I was quite happy with that. Um, now I'm working on my clusters as usual, and I wasn't even thinking about a title at this point. I think I actually forgot that I was going to need a title. I was going to use the chipboard. There's this chipboard word that says imagine, and even though they're playing with cars and it doesn't have anything to do with cars and the, wor the word imagine doesn't, I mean it does, but um, so at this point I completely forgot that I even had a title. So. Um, what I'm doing now is I am working on this rectangle or this Polaroid frame and I originally thought maybe I would use one of these LE Studio um, 3x4 cards that I bought. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like how they are just like lined paper. They make for gr great journaling blocks. But um, So I'm going to take that Polaroid frame and that is where I'm planning to do my journaling. And the sad part is when I was gluing this frame down, I was kind of mentally thinking about what I was going to have the layout say or the journaling say, and I ended up forgetting it all until after I had written the journaling. And then I was like, oh yeah, I was going to write that. So I wish that I would have, I guess I could always go back and rewrite it. I might do that um, because it was funny. Uh, I was thinking I wanted my journaling to say, 
since I mentioned his hat that he's out there wearing the goofy hat. So I think what I wanted to say, and I'm, I think I am going to go back and change it because what it says now basically is, oh, the boys took their cars out on the deck. It was a nice day. So they made a track and blah, blah, blah. But what I was thinking while I was gluing this down was that I wanted it to say a nice day, something along the lines of it's a nice day outside. So why not put on our Mickey hat or our goofy hat and go outside and race our cars or something like that. So it includes the fact that he's wearing the goofy hat. Um, so like I said, I might go back and change that. So, but I want you to notice on the Polaroid frame that it said, I think it said you're a star or you're out of this world or something like that, or shoot for the stars is maybe what it said. And I didn't really want that to be on there because although I don't feel like everything has to totally match with your layouts, I just didn't want that for this one. I didn't feel like it really went at all um, because they are just outside playing and having fun. But it would have been totally fine if you do this layout and you want it to say shoot for the stars, by all means, have it say that. That's no problem. Um, but I just didn't want it for me. So you're going to see me. I'm kind of tapping my fingers here and thinking I'm trying different elements. I thought maybe these like, what do you call those burst bubbles? They are not really speech bubbles, but they're like, bam, wow, pop, you know, I thought maybe adding one of those. And I thought about that because it made it look like the car, the front of the car was crashing into something. And since they're doing these cars on the deck, the cars did crash quite a bit. So I kind of liked that, but at the same time, I, I wasn't sure. So I tried this green arrow and it covered up quite a bit and it also led your eye to the pictures. So I decided to go ahead with the green arrow and then there was still a little part of the S left over. So I went ahead and, um, just put a little, I think it's a red star over part of the S. And if you look closely enough, you can still see there's something silver behind it, but I'm not worried about that. It is what it is and I'm just gonna leave that. So that is how I covered up that part. So if you have a die cut piece or any chipboard piece or anything that has a word or phrase on it that you don't like, but you like everything else about it, then don't be afraid to use it. Um, I know I've mentioned more than once that I am working on my cluster series videos. Um, I started them, like, to be completely honest with you, I've started that video five, at least five or six times, and I don't like any of them. I, I'm, I think I'm overthinking it and worrying about it, and I just need to relax and just do what I do. Um, so I will have that coming up hopefully soon. It won't be right away, but I know a lot of you are really looking forward to it. And I thank you for your patience and sticking in there and being patient with me when it comes to that series, because it will be coming. And um, I'm trying to think of all the ideas that I have about all the clustering and um, all different kinds of things like that. So be patient with me. It's coming. Um, now I'm just gluing down everything that I basically have in these clusters and I'm also going to use some of these brads. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. I happily, happy accident. Um, if you can see on the very left hand side of the screen, the brad package, I just happened to set it to the side and it stood up so you can see the shadow from it um it stood up and i thought hey well that actually is pretty clever because see i'm showing you right here if you want to have your brad sitting up so you can actually see all of them while you're scrapbooking then just open that package up and it, and it just sits there perfectly so it was kind of like i said a happy accident so um i might do a two minute tuesday tip video on that just I don't know if it's something anybody would want to know about or not, but it, I just thought it was pretty clever. So while you're working on your layout, if you would like, you can have your Brad package sitting up there. So um, one thing you guys probably don't notice in this video at all is I was really clumsy with this layout quite a bit. I didn't know because I was working with all the other stuff. I just shoved everything to the side. I didn't know where my new little pokey tool was. So I, can't, I've been having trouble picking things up and like I said, you probably can't even tell in the video, but um, I'm using my other little quick picks tool or whatever that is and using that to help me pick things up and it's not working as well. But um, I am going to add a brad into each cluster. I've decided I like the look of the brads. The only thing I'm a little disappointed about is I'm not crazy about 
the brads that came with this collection once I got them. It, for a boy collection, there's like these big shiny pearl ones, and then there's these big, even larger, like um, rhinestone type looking ones. And so I felt like there was only really two rows of the brads that really went with this collection well. I do use one of the red pearl ones, I believe, in that middle top cluster that I just put in there. And I thought, it looks okay there, but I was a little disappointed. I probably would not have bought the Brad Pack for this if I would have known. It just didn't seem, like I said, that it, they were very boy -y. You know, I just, yeah. So um, just be aware of that if you are per thinking of getting these Brad, this Brad Pack. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and like I mentioned in the beginning, I didn't really think about my title until this point. Um, thinking that I was going to do that word imagine I guess I just had thought that I had done it but I didn't so I just went ahead and when I was going through the little ephemera pieces which you might have noticed I haven't even had time to put on my cardstock because I'm just pulling this out to do a couple videos and then I'm hopefully going to clean up a little bit and get some other things done in my room so I can get back to making more videos. So I just pulled these ephemera pieces and it just says the word play and you know me, if you've seen my videos and been following me, you know I struggle with the banners, but when I put it there, it looked actually fairly good. So I am gonna just leave that word play there and I'm not gonna add anything else to it. I figure that's enough of a title as it is. and I I don't feel like every layout needs a specific title, but this one I just kind of, I don't know, I wanted it to have something. Um, I am going to add another little I, something else with the word play and you will see that in the end. So now I'm just working on this cluster on the right hand side and I really, this is my favorite cluster probably of both pages. I just really like the way that car is driving into the layout and the words and that boys and their toys sticker was perfect. So um, I glued that down. <clears throat> One thing else that you might have noticed that I'm doing throughout this layout is all of these little, now I can never remember the name of these things, the little wheel shape pieces. I am adding those in between all of those. I'm adding um, one of the enamel shapes or the enamel dots. I really, that just brought more colors around to each cluster and it just gave those shapes a little something more. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. Now the ones on this right hand side are uh, chipboard. So you're going to see me, I'm going to have to hold down this brad, or not this brad, but that enamel shape that's going on the silver one. I'm going to hold it down for a few minutes um, because it doesn't have the centerpiece. And I put the centerpiece up in the right hand cluster. I don't know if you noticed that, but it was a little bit of that silver shininess that a lot of these elements have so I wanted to put it up there in the right hand or the middle cluster on the right but it just was not staying so that made the enamel dot and I'm gonna have to go back and hold it down even more so there was also this like little photo tab that said look here and I really wanted to use that but I just couldn't get it to fit I should have like thought about it more in the beginning but um, it is what it is so for one of the last things that I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little car. This was another piece of the ephemera, and it's just a rectangle, you know, piece of ephemera, and it just has the car on there. I'm going to put it above the word play, kind of like so it's kind of saying car play. I know that's a little silly, but that's kind of was my thinking with it right then, and it just gave that little word play a little something more than just the banner. So. Also what I'm gonna do is, you might have seen me just now, I'm going to cut it so that it spans both layouts. So it looks a little funny when they're apart, but when it's together, it's it makes that um, two pages flow. So I just added my last brad, and then one more thing I'm going to do, I think that I'm gonna do it off camera um, because I was thought I was done. Oh, nope, not to that yet. I did decide that I wanted to mount both of these layouts on some paper. So with this collection, I also bought, you might know if you know much about Echo Park and a lot of companies now are coming out with coordinating, it's not really cardstock, it's just coordinating solid pattern paper. And I 
for a while I was buying those until I realized I have enough cardstock so I'm not going to buy it anymore and sorry if my cats are making noise in the background but I decided that I'm going to use these up and I'm not going to get them I know uh, I have enough cardstock colors though so don't be mad at me I am not going to end up getting these so I had a blue and a gray and it, looking at the screen now it's actually a, a lot harder to tell the blue from the gray <laughs> it was easier in person but I decided the gray and the reason for me deciding the gray is because I felt like this gray helped bring out the very tiny stitching gray lines that I had and so then when I flipped the gray pattern or the gray paper over it had this orange so I almost did it just like you see here I I couldn't bring myself to do it and I had the orange on one side and gray on the other side I would love to do it but I couldn't do it this time so I'm gonna mount the whole layout on the gray and the other thing that I was gonna mention in by the wordplay I am going to add a couple silver stars which you will see I do apologize for the not good quality of these last end photos but um, I was in a hurry so I hope you guys like this video